What's up YouTube? So here I'm just going to showcase the shape real quick so you have an idea of what you're putting together. It's a pretty simple build and the files are available for free on Maker World. So just doing an assembly video for my custom shape for a Red Dragon G49 Pro. And as far as I can see, this is basically like the best reputable and cheapest like good Chinese mouse from either AliExpress or, you know, Mac keys that comes with a 4K receiver on its own, so you don't have to pay extra for that. I think it's generally around 35 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, so I have this printed in ABS glass fiber. You know, you could use PLA, any of the PLA carbon fiber, or whatever, right? Like you can use basically any material for the most part. Designed to be a very easy print. Uh, you're probably not coming here for the printing video, but I print these with like, you know, one wall, like 10% infill. Uh, the only supports are needed on the side buttons. They're pre-painted um, on the files if you get them. And then for this, you know, it gets printed standing up with supports basically right here and then on this gap. Uh, otherwise, fairly simple print. I would uh, stick with classic wall generation for what it's worth as well. So for the PCB, I'm going to assume your on and off switch is off. So very easy. Just take this notch right here. You're going to align that with your on and off switch. And then just put your PCB into place. So just drop it down basically. And then you're gonna wiggle it around slightly and kind of push the corners down. Make sure it's even. And these are our PCB screws. And you're fine screwing into plastic here as long as you don't pull it out like, you know, 50 times or something, it's probably completely fine. I have never really had an issue with this, but uh, you know, Anything's possible, right? The one thing I will say too is uh, just make sure you have the right screwdriver, obviously, for these because I don't know what it is, but the screws for the G49 and also the like VGN R1, uh, I don't know, they seem like they're a little softer. Like they deformed, not the plastic, but the actual screw. Like, I don't know what it was, but I had issues with those because I was taking them apart and putting them back together a bunch. So that's secured. Go ahead and take the sideboard post, side button post, magic slope. Go ahead and screw this into place. Use two screws for this one. Cut a hole right there. Then one to the back. Let's go. Uh, might as well attach your battery now before you get the side button uh, set there. So uh, I have some double sided tape on this, like 3M adhesive. Uh, so you're gonna do red to the front, or white to the back. And basically there's like just enough room to where it's gonna kind of fit between the sideboard or the side button post and then the back. And same deal for the switch. So for the switch, you're gonna go yellow to the front, red to the back. Yeah. And obviously not much to this, you're just gonna screw them in. I screw them in like mostly, except I leave them a little unscrewed while positioning the side button post. That way, if you want to, at the end, you can like slightly move it to adjust it and then actually finish screwing in. Uh, so pretty simple. It might be helpful to pre-tap these. I've already screwed these in before, so I don't have to. But if you haven't, you might want to just take this and actually, you know, thread it just a little. But essentially, the next part is very simple. You're basically just going to put it down. You're going to move it around because you're aiming to get these hexagonal posts into their hexagonal screw posts. Oh, uh, something I should mention, uh, since I've already done this, this isn't a freshly printed part. I've designed this with, uh, I don't know if it's called like breakthrough holes or whatever the case is, but you're going to want to push through because there's like t uh, 0 0.2 millimeters right here of material so that it bridges. That way you don't have to use supports or anything and it prints nice. You just got to be careful sometimes uh, of the battery when you're putting this on. I'm going to go ahead and put these in maybe 80% of the way screwed or something and then put in the finishing touch once all three are in. Because right now it's mostly in the correct spot but it's still probably like slightly off. And this is where just obviously touch your clicks, make sure your side buttons are good. 
nothing weird like that. Uh, due to this design, because it doesn't have like even screw posts, uh, you actually do get, if you want to push down on it, you know, you can get a little bit of flex here. It's not going to actuate a click or anything like that, but that's one of the flaws of this, this design, basically. Uh, I'll refine it over time as I do more G49 mice, but uh, as of right now, here, I'll get the weight. Uh, also, you're going to add, you know, feet, PTFV feet. So I pause it to grab some PTFV feet, and then I'll show you on, like, a, this is a test copy, but this is what I mean by the 0 0.2 millimeter push-throughs. So you're literally just going to take your screwdriver and just push that through and form a hole. It's one that I had lying around that I was testing, probably lift, lift, off, lift off distance. So for the feet, pretty much you're just going to put them at the corners. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be fine. And then, you know, if I want to add another dot or something, I will. But uh, yeah, this, this lift-off distance, it's worth mentioning, this is made for 0.8mm feet, which is, that's the most common feet, but if you do have thinner feet or something, you would have to compensate in some way. Or it'll just be a little different, which is fine as well. And so you can see our final weight here is 51.83 grams. Obviously, you could, you know, drop that under 50 pretty easily by just grabbing a lighter battery or uh, you'd probably get funkier with the print. I'm probably not going to do a hold variant of this or anything because it's probably going to be like 2 grams or something. It's just not worth it, but if that's something you want to chase, you know, it's not that hard to add or just switch the battery.